Did Jesus hide his identity? Think about this. We see it happening over and over and over in the New Testament. Here's a particular verse in Luke 4, 41. It says, the demons also came out crying, you are the son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. Okay, the verse says clearly, this all boils down to the fact that these demons knew that he was the Messiah. And we see in other places in the New Testament where Jesus was healed people and said, hey, by the way, don't tell anybody who I am. And you, there's part of you that even looks at this verse and you say, are these demons on the wrong side? They're, they're like cheerleading for Jesus. He, you're the son of God. You would think that's the stuff that he wanted to get out to everyone, right? Well, I think I've got an answer to this. It's a very, it's very clear in the New Testament, okay? As you study, as you go through it, you see that people wanted a Messiah. I think they wanted the Messiah more they wanted, more than they, they wanted the gospel at the time. They didn't, they they weren't looking to walk with God and to honor him. They they wanted to be rescued from Rome. And that's what they were after in a Messiah. They wanted a person to show up and deliver the nation of Israel from the Roman occupation. And when basically their misunderstanding of what the Messiah was going to do, they they, they were looking for a new king that would bring back the glory and the prestige of Solomon, basically. And, you know, they, they were looking for uh, basically somebody to make them a superpower again and to, to rule the world, basically. They just didn't understand exactly how the Messiah or what the Messiah actually needed to do and his actual purpose in coming. And in this case, and I think at this time, this is happening very early in the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to look at it and you have to see, well, yeah, he was not out advertising the fact that he is the son of God, that he is the Messiah, that he is the person that was predicted by the prophets to come because it would actually be a liability for spreading the gospel. And, and the Lord came preaching the gospel. He came preaching um, to the people, right? If they're all fixated on the wrong thing, well, here's the interesting thing about this, I guess. When you see that, you look at it and you say, you know what? You can pursue something and you can, you can fixate on something that is very religious, but not actually be focusing on the right thing. And, and we see this, you know, when I went to Bible college, there were people there that were pursuing an intellectual understanding of the scripture, which is great. But you have to balance that with your actual walk with the Lord. This is not just intellectualism. You don't just uh, know things and that's enough. You have to actually do it. You have to live it. It's, you're not being a hearer of the word only, you're being a doer also, right? And so you can focus in on all of the study and then have all kinds of head knowledge and in information and not actually have a relationship with the Lord. It's possible that this happens all of the time in all different sorts of ways. I think sometimes people get caught up in the emotion of, God working in their life and they mistakenly always pursue that sort of emotional experience. Well, look, it's not always emotional like that. It's not always um, one way or the other. The Lord works in different ways at different times for different reasons. And I think that's what, when you read something like this, you, you have to boil down and say, okay, why, Lord, why does this matter? Well, because he knows what needs to be done. He knows what has to happen. 
and he he knows that my cats are fighting over there. He knows that um, this is the not the time for him to be revealed, and that time is still in the future. This is the time to preach the gospel. I think for us, you know what? That's a good segue. This is not the time. Like I, I know a lot of people just want to be out of here, but listen, we're here now, right? This is the time to preach the gospel. We're in the same boat. It's time to preach the gospel. The days are getting short. It's Everything is going crazy. You guys, we need to make a stand for righteousness. We need to live our lives completely for the Lord and walking in obedience to him because it's important. And that is how we minister to this unsaved world. That's They need to see the light. And we need to be that light. So anyways, it is always, it's an interesting thing. Um, the Lord certainly knows what he's doing. Thank God for that. And I hope you have a great day. May the Lord richly bless you. Leave me a comment. Also, like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.